What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. Making this video for a guy named Mike over on the Uber forums. And uh, I can't seem to log in over there right now for my mobile device. So I thought I'd just, I'd just make a video and I'll post it later. Um, but, uh, you know, he's on the forum looking for some advice at uh, uberpeople.net. Um, trying to figure out why he's not making any money in Indianapolis, which is a venue that I happened to work in for seven months. Um, I made really good money there, and I only worked Friday and Saturday because I lived in Terre Haute, which is uh, about two hours each way to work, and then back, and then two hours back, and then two hours home. Um, every weekend, guys, I drove eight hours a week just to work the weekends in Indy, and I, I did well. And I guess he's a, a Lyft driver, but, uh, you know, this job is, is really 90% perception. You can look at things negatively, or you can choose to try to make them more positive. Um, and I know this is low light conditions here. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm, I'm in my car on the side of the road. I even turned off my Uber app so I can make this quick video. Um, but he doesn't want to work the nights. He doesn't want to work bar rushes, but he still wants to make good money. And well, <laughs> it's not going to happen. I mean, I'm sorry if uh, if you had some kind of delusion that you could work um, days only and make a lot of money you, know, you can't you won't um, I posted on there you know if you really want to make some money I, I gave them locations some of the places that I worked that uh, were very lucrative for me um, times to be at certain places you know re really trying to help the guy out and he pretty much comes back and uh, it was just really negative Talking about uh, being out at the bar rush, you're picking up the, the bottom of the barrel people, the, the worst of the worst, the low of the lows. And those weren't his exact words, I'm paraphrasing, but I mean, that's exactly how I interpreted it. And let me tell you something, guys. I don't appreciate people calling my passengers, the people that, that pay my bills, and, and, and everybody else's that works for Lyft and Uber as well. Bottom of the barrel, low of low. These are people. Whether they're drunk or not, whether you like them or not, these are people, and this is your job. And if you don't like it, move around. You know, go somewhere else, do something else. Honestly, if this is how you look at your customers, then this is not a job you're going to succeed in, period. I've had some, some pretty bad things happen. N nothing too horrible, but I mean, I've had passengers puke in my car. I've had passengers cussing and screaming and yelling at me. You know what? It's part of the job. You can't take that personally. And if you don't think it's part of the job, then this is not the job for you. Uh, you can like what I'm saying. You can hate what I'm saying. You can disagree with me all you want. But at the end of the day, I've got 15 months into this. And I'm, I may not be an expert, but I'm still here. And there aren't many drivers that have been here since launch day. Not the original launch of Uber, but the original launch in Oklahoma. And I'm still doing it. Non-stop. It has been my only income this entire time. So while I may not be the uh, ultimate expert on Uber, you know, I'm doing something right here. And I have good advice, and that's what my YouTube channel is for. I try to give people good advice to help them with Uber and to make them better drivers and to make them more money. Now, you cannot look at things in such a negative manner and expect to succeed at it. It's all about perception. I don't look at these people as bottom of the barrel, you know, low of the lows, worst of the worst. I, I look at them as paying customers that are out having a good time, maybe they got a little too drunk, you know? It happens. Sure, a lot of them are young, a lot of them are kids, that's part of being a kid. You know, a lot of people that are young 
have gone out and continue to go out and drink and have a good time. It's part of life, and it's part of what comes with this job. If you want to make good money, you have to go out and work the night shift. You have to. You've got to work the overnight shift. You've got to do the bars. That's the bulk of the money from my experience, okay? I won't I won't say that for you. From, from my experience over the last 15 months doing this, the bulk of my money in Indiana and Oklahoma, and I'm talking I've worked about five different cities in both states, the bulk of my money always comes from the bars at night. Why do you think I'm out? Guys, it's midnight. I'm not I'm not out here on the side of the road at midnight for my health, okay? I'm not. This is where I make my money. This is what pays my bills. And these customers are not bottom of the barrel. They're just people that are out having a good time. And that's a really disrespectful thing to say. And I know I've been reiterating it, but it really burned me up to hear somebody talking about our passengers that way. These are customers. These people pay us to do a job, whether we like it or not. And the best part about Uber or Lyft is if you don't like it, you can go home. Log out, quit, find something else. This isn't for you. You want to make money? I gave you directions on there how to do it. If you don't like the kind of people you would have to work with to make money, then don't do it. Simple as that. Perception. You can look at them as bottom of the barrel, horrible passengers that you just can't stand and you won't deal with. Or you can look at them as people that are having fun, that are helping to pay your way. It's your choice. Uberman out.